everybody. Welcome to the Redesign with Prima Facebook group page. I'm Monica from Half Past Four Design, and I'm going to do a quick decoupage product project today with the new release paper. Redesign with Prima has come out with some new decoupage decor tissue paper, and this one that I'm using today is called Marigold. Um, I'm not sure why they called it marigold because the flowers on here look more like roses to me, but maybe that's just because I'm in central Illinois and our marigolds look a little bit different. But the color in them is kind of a, a subdued marigold color. So I'm going to show you guys today how to use this in a quick and easy project. I have a little chair here, one of those little vintage student desk chairs. And I've already primed it, and I've painted one coat of a light color. I'm planning on doing the paper just here on the back and on the seat. So it's been primed, it's been painted with one coat of a light color. And for most decoupage pro projects, you want to do a light background to make the colors on whatever material you're using come through better. Um, I'm not seeing comments, so if you guys are leaving them, let me know. Um, tell me where you're from today. I haven't seen anything pop up yet. Um, I'm in central Illinois, and we have like the perfect weather today. It's like literally 72 and sunny, and you can't get much better. So I'm taking advantage today. I'm in my garage doing this, and um, if you hear a lawnmower or something start up. I'm sorry, I'll try to shut the door or something, but maybe we'll get through it without it. Okay, prime painted one coat. I actually just used um, kind of a, a vanilla color. This paper itself is a subdued, it's not one of the bright colors, it's a subdued floral. The background is, is a really muted light, like a sagey green. So let's get started. The first thing, when you open your paper in the package, it comes folded in one of these little packages and you'll find creases. Um, usually those will come out um, when you're decoupaging, but just because I'm a little anal like that, I ironed mine first, just on a, a quick iron on the ironing board and the creases come right out. Um, so the, before I put any of the adhesive down, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And when you cut out your pattern, leave a little bit that goes over the edges. So when you're finished, what I do is always, um, I don't try to make it fit perfectly because if you cut just that tiny amount out, um, I will mess it up and be short somewhere. So I leave a little bit around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting it. And on the back here, since we're going to have these legs coming right up next to it, there's a little bit of a gap on each side. And I'm going to take the paper over those edges by a little bit and not try to get too close. So I just kind of eyeball it, make sure the pattern is where I want it to be, overlap a little bit. And then I'm going to cut... And you can do this with a pencil and measure everything if you want. I don't usually do it that way unless I need to be really precise for something. So that gives us a little bit of overlap on the seat. And when we're done, I'll show you, well, I don't know if I can show you today, but what I'll do is I'll sand those edges right off. And then we're going to cut out a spot here. Again, there is a back and a front to this paper, and it's kind of hard to see. And if you do it backwards, it's really no big deal because the paper is really pretty on each side. But if you look really close, uh, the back shows more of a fiber. And you can still see the fiber on the front, but you can see a more finished look to it. I'm going to do the same thing up here. 
I'm just going to eyeball it and see where I want that pattern to go. And like here would give me all those yellow roses. If I wanted some of the other colors, of course you just put it where you want it. And I think I need at least a little bit of the yellow, maybe marigolds, I don't know, um, to match down here. So I think that looks like a good spot, although I'm a little too close to the edge over here, and I don't have anything left where I cut, so I'm going to try it again. And that, that pattern will give me some of each color, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Just leaving about an inch on each side. Now my plan is not to bring it down over the edges. I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to sand it at those edges so it's just on the flat surface. Again, feel free to measure it out, draw a pattern with a pencil. I don't get that precise. I would make myself crazy. Can you guys hear me okay? I don't have any comments coming out. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can get some comments going. If you guys are here, say something to me because I'm not getting anything. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're doing today for Easter. Okay. I've got the two sheets ready to go. And the yellow color, I don't know if the camera is picking up this pale yellow that I've put. I want to paint the whole chair in a yellow, I think, to match the flowers. But I haven't found a bright yellow that I like with it yet. So I'm going to have to mix some custom yellow colors, but I thought I would do that after I got this on because I can't quite make my decision on that yellow until I think the paper is on. Okay. If you're just joining me, this is the Marigold Decor Tissue Paper. It's a new release by Redesign with Prima. Um, April 1st, they came out with a lot of new papers. Check them out. You can get this for the next couple of weeks from your local retailer. You can go to their website and check where your local retailer is. And today, what I'm going to do is actually use Mod Podge. I know we all say that wrong. I call it Mod Podge, but it's spelled Mod Podge. Um, you can use really any top coat of your favorite paint. Sometimes, um, I'll use like a Wise Owl varnish. That's one of my favorite things to use, but I'm almost out of that. So I just poured the Mod Podge in a, a little bucket. And we're just going to apply it and get the paper on there. Now, with this paper, it's a little, it's a little porous. When you look close, you can see the little tiny holes in there. Um, I have found... The top coats that are thinner don't work as well as the ones that are thicker with this paper. And the Wise Owl varnishes are one of the thicker ones. Um, and the Mod Podge works good. One of the tricks of getting your paper to stick only where you want it to, I've heard some people have asked, how do you keep it off like these edges? Well. Just apply your um, adhesive only where you want it. Be sure that when you're putting this on, it doesn't overlap on those edges, or you're going to have it stick there possibly by accident. And then it makes it a little bit harder to get off. Sometimes it'll take the paint with it. So when you apply your adhesive, put it on pretty um, a pretty thick coat. I don't want to say a pretty th too thick. You don't want it thin, but you want a good amount on there that it 
it's not gonna dry before you get the whole part painted up, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna go back over it one more time to make sure I've got all the spots covered. I've got a couple of things sticking in there that we don't want, probably from the bowl. And then to make sure that you don't have it on your edges, you can go ahead and wipe those and then any spot that might have gone over the edge, you can try to get that off. Now the paper that I cut, I'm just going to center it. You can smooth it out with your hands, but I also have one of these brayers. These it, this is just by um, one of the craft stores. I think it was a Mod Podge brand. And you don't have to have a brayer. You can use your hands. This helps smooth it out, get rid of the air bubbles. You just want to make sure that you've got all parts of it pressed down into your adhesive. I'm sorry guys, I'm not seeing any comments, so if you're asking me questions, I will, I will go back through and answer any questions if you have them. I don't know why my comments aren't popping up. Okay, I think I got everything press down. You want to make sure you've got it pushed into those edges. Those are the parts that lift sometimes. And if you get to a curve where it's not staying really well because of that curve, you can put a little cut right there in the corner of your paper, just not too close. If you put a little cut, that'll kind of relieve that pressure on the edge and it'll lay flat. So we're going to leave that to dry and then I'll show you the same process on the bottom. A relatively thick coat, you want to cover all the spots so you don't have any lifting of the fabric. And I know the paper is called tissue paper, but it's more like a fabric, which makes it wonderful to work with. If you guys have only decoupaged with tissue paper and napkins and never used the redesigned decor tissue paper, get, get some because I'm telling you what, I'm not just trying to sell it. The first time I used it, I could not believe the difference and I've decoupaged for years. It's the best thing to work with because it's so thick, it doesn't tear, but yet it's still porous and it absorbs the adhesive really well. Okay, now I'm just going to smooth all that out. And I want to make sure that I'm not getting it stuck to those legs, anything stuck to the legs. You don't want adhesive there because your material, your paper might grab onto those spots. Make sure you've got a, a good even coat. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe any of the edges that I maybe didn't see. And make sure you've got your material on the right side and the pattern the way you want it upright. And before you start pushing it down, make sure it's where you want it to be. And then just work it from one side over. 
You could use your hand or you can get out the brayer either way. So what are you guys doing today? I can't see comments, but I'll go back and read. We didn't really do Easter. I was going to make an Easter dinner, but we can't get together with my parents right now. We haven't had the vaccine yet. My kids are grown, not really into the Easter thing. But I have a ham. I was going to cook a ham today. I kind of got sidetracked on the project, so I might do it tomorrow. Okay, making sure all that is smooth. The next part, are we gonna, all that's left now is to let it dry, and that's probably gonna take um, an hour, maybe two. Sorry, your camera's going wonky. Sorry. Um, an hour or two here in the garage in this perfect weather, and it'll be dry. And at this point, I can go ahead and put the top coat on it, or I can wait until it dries and do it. Either one really works. You go, it's with this paper, it's so easy to work with. Um, it's not going to tear if you put the top coat on right away. And for a top coat, you can use any of the polys that are water based from any of the paint companies. You can also just use the Mod Podge to top coat it. Um, it's pretty easy. Just make sure it's water-based. And then once it's dry, I will go back with um, a sanding block of maybe like a 220 and just gently do it across these edges and that paper will start to tear right off the edge. Um, and any place that lifts a little bit, all you need to do is stick a little bit more of your adhesive under there. And that's really all I'm going to do other than once this chair is, um, once this is all dry, I need to pick the color. Um, and I'm looking for one of these gold colors. So I started mixing, and I can't quite get it right. If the camera can picture that, I've tried a pale yellow. I tried a pale yellow. I tried a, a daisy yellow, and then I tried a kernel mustard. And none of those really go, so I think I'm going to mix a combination. I think I'm going to take the kernel mustard and mix it with a, maybe a little gray or white and try to see if I can match that color. So there you have it. That's the decoupage decor tissue paper called Marigold. It's the new release. You can get it from your Redesign with Prima retailer. If you don't know who your retailer is, get on their website redesignwithprima.com and there's a spot on there you can look up your retailer. Thank you for joining me today. Everybody have a great Easter. Bye!